Today our little project is to clean up these kitchen cabinets. They've been here for a long time. We had planned on replacing them, but just for the time being, we're just going to trick them up with a bit of paint. Our first thing we're going to do is make sure we clear the area. We have our safety gear, which we're going to use when we start cleaning. We've got our primer, our brush and roller. You can brush or roll depending on what you want to do. And our top coat, which we do two types of top coat. Sandpaper, drop sheets, duster. So our first job, clean and safety gear on. We've got a little bit of ventilation, a window open, which is good. And we're going to start over in the corner with our cleaner, working our way down from the top to the bottom and just cleaning that surface. Before we do something like a door here, we're going to just unscrew our handles, make life a bit easier. We continue on with our cleaning. When you get to the doors, pay particular attention to the top because as you can see, it's quite a build up there. And we run down our edges. If you can just have a look at that edge there, that was a laminated edge. It was damaged. So all we've done is we've just ripped the laminate off, give it a clean and paint it. It'll look exactly the same and it's easy way out. Cupboards are all nice and dry. Our next job is to sand the cupboards back ready for priming. So we'll get sanding. Start over here. As you can see there, I've just take the surface off. Give that edge a rub all the way down. Give that a bit of a dust off. Just flick over the top edge there. Now we're all sanded. We're ready to go. We're just going to do one more thing. We're just going to run a line of tape down there so we don't get paint on the wall. You just don't want the tape on the cupboard because the cupboard's the thing we're painting. If you get a bit on the wall, we can fix it up later. And now we're ready to prime. Square stirring stick. Stirring from the bottom up till you get a nice consistency. Right, nice consistency there, ready to go. Into our trusty paint pot. We pour a little bit higher, makes it easier. And we're going to start up in the top corner. The first thing we're going to do on the cupboards is we're going to cut them in by going down all the sides, edges, doors. A bit tricky with the cupboard, but we can do it. Now we don't want to close this door now because that's going to stick. So this door stays ajar from now on until that paint's dry and we just take that edge off there. So the door doesn't close on us and we've got two hands free. We're just going to get a lump of wood, lead it on the angle behind the door, just sit him there. We've got two hands free, we're going to cut that edge down, cut that edge and then we're going to clean the face off and we'll be ready so we can roll that section, that section and continue on. Right, we're all ready to go now with our roller. And we just spread it evenly over the surface. Plenty of paint on. And that's pretty good for an undercoat. All primed, ready to go. The next job, just a light sand. We don't want to take any paint off, so just a light sand with a 240. Give that a bit of a dust off. We get a nice dust free surface. Paint's gonna stick so much better. Yep, we're all ready to go right through here now with our first coat of top coat. Take our paint, we give it a good stir, a little bit in the pot, quite a bit more in the tray because we're going to use quite a bit more on the larger surfaces. We're going to start off on the face here, same as last time, we'll do the edges first, cut it in, then roll it. Okay, we're all cut in, ready to go. Our first coat that is, first coat. Uh, what we're using now is a satin finish. Um, they're old cupboards, they've seen better days, and it's a bit more forgiving of satin. If you have a full gloss on it, it's going to show everything up. This is a lot cheaper than uh, replacing a whole kitchen. We've gone through, we've cleaned down, we've sanded, we've primed, a couple of top coats, changed the knobs, and there you have it. Once you get to this stage, do-it-yourself becomes did-it-yourself. So come in and see us and we'll help you out.